Hello, my friends. It's me, your friend Hubert Anayo Anioke. I'm here again for the message to the youth, the wounded family. We are, I'm here to give thanks to all my friends, all those that are part of us, that have been helping us in one way or the other by sharing our message to our platform, by letting people know about this channel, Hubert Television. I thank you all. Please keep on be with us. Join us. You will not regret of knowing this channel. God Almighty will bless you. And I thank our new friend that joined us today and those that still join us tomorrow. Please don't forget to share our message to your friends. God Almighty will bless you as well. Today, the topic we have today for our youth in general, for our good brothers and sisters, is about power of tongue. And I promise all of us that I will keep on bringing important messages to us for us to understand where we fall or where we have made a mistake so that we will amend our mistakes and last goes on then everybody will see ourselves as brothers and sisters so that we will not be hanging our problems to another side that all of us when we know the right thing to do and we keep on doing it everybody will be happy seeing each other and that's why Hubert Television is all about to unite everybody to make us be one despite what you believe despite what you think you are now my dear youth let us understand when our life changes either negative or positive the most important thing we ought to look about is waste from our mouth what we say to people how we, how we, how we return waste to some people was is one of the key things that lift a man and bring a man down when we don't know how to use our tongue we don't know how to address issues it brings a lot of problems in the life of mankind and that is why you see a lot of people they lose their businesses they lose their marriage they lose what is important for them because of what how they use their tongue when one don't use his tongue very very well it causes a lot of damages that is why you see some people they'll be somewhere else and vomiting something that will affect other people without knowing it and they will tell you that they are not the one that causing it when your message lead people to death you are the one that causes it when your message is not to bring people together you are not at the right place so let us understand this in many things that are passing through our life because of tongue how we use our tongue how we address people how we take people is one of the most things that affect our lives but i would like us to see one thing in the bible for us to understand that what we are saying is nothing but the reality and we have a good mind towards everybody for us to have a good life to live so that we will not be fearing our brothers and sisters so we welcome everybody as well now i would like you to help me see proverb 13 i will read one to three for us to know about how to use your tongue and what you benefit from using your tongue well or using it wrongly now let me read from bible so that all of us will read it as well and see what we are saying Hubert television is for us to have a good life now let me read from my bible here proverbs 13 verse 1 it says that a wise son hear, hears his father's instruction. A wise son hears his father's instruction. But a scorner heareth not rebuke. Someone that, hate, that doesn't want correction. Even if you are even punished, he doesn't care. And all this is what we are facing through. A scorner heareth not rebuke. Two, a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. But the soul of the transgression shall eat violence. My dear, you don't understand one thing. When you read Bible and you call the Holy Spirit to teach you Bible, there's no way you will not be loaded with wisdom. And when you read it and practice it, you have an excellent life. There's a many of us 
we only read Bible like novels. Many read this Bible and passage and pass. They cannot understand anything there. We benefit from words of our mouth, positively or negatively. When one speaks good, when one address matters in, in a normal way, he benefits from it. Bible let us know that a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. What comes out of somebody's mouth this, 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 determine how far that person will go. When one is always vomiting something that will spoil people, spoil nation, spoil friends and friends, that person has a limit. There's an essence he cannot even climb. Nobody can even trust him on something that is important because it will destroy the whole nation. Then he said again, but the soul of the treasure shall eat violence. Was someone that always used his or her own mouth to say anything that he, he, he likes. He doesn't even think how it will affect others. He just opens up his mouth and be saying something. That person will eat violent. And that's what many of us are facing right now. Someone will be on social media insulting elders, insulting prophet pastors, insulting who that he don't supposed to insult, thinking that he's a, he's a free will, he can say anything. No, it's not like that. And when you are do, making all those utterances, he block you from friends that will help you. He may call people that they cannot trust us in anything. Mouth is one of the main things that blesses a man. Then I read the three. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. My dear, you let us understand this. Let us not leave our problem and hanging it somewhere else. Any man that has a, that has a good voice that know how to talk hardly fall into trouble. He might make a mistake, but how he bring, the, how he ask for forgiveness, how he talk to his neighbor, nobody will even go on with that matter. That's why many of our youth right now, what they learn is to have to destroy people with their mouth because of social media, because they can lock themselves in one, in one room with five minute data and be destroying things that people have worked for. Let us understand this thing. When you know have the important of voices, we know how to have, they cannot say anything because you want to say it. You have to digest whatever you tell somebody. That's what let us understand thing. Mouth, tongue, is one of the smallest things in the part of the body, but it did, it did a lot of things. It can bless someone and it can put somebody down. That is why we must learn how to control our mouth. But let, me, let us understand, there's one general in the Bible that is not the important of voice, important of power, important of mouth, and he utilizes it by adding faith in it. So I would like us to see that general, so that all of us will understand it. Whatever you don't know, you don't know it. Did, let us see that general at Matthew 8, verse 8 to 11. Let us see important of knowing power of voice, power of mouth. Now, let me take us to there. Matthew 8, verse Matthew 8, verse 11. I will read from here. Bless the Lord. Matthew 8, verse 11. So you follow me, understand it. Matthew 8, Matthew 8 to 11. Matthew 8 to 11. He said that the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof. But speak thy word only, and my servant shall be healed. The general knows important of words. And that's why he tells Jesus Christ, he don't need you to come to my house because I'm not even worthy. But speak a word, my servant will heal. Let us go further and hear what happened to this thing. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I said to this man, Go and he goeth, and to another, come and he cometh, and to my servant, do this and he does it. He does it. People that understand of ways of mouth, they don't use it anyhow. And they wake up when they see one that has power. That is why many of us are dying because they see some prophet, they call it ordinary men, 
and they keep on insulting them, attracting premature death to their life, attracting failures. And those that understand it benefit from it. They welcome that man of God, that power, and say, bless me, servant of God. And that's why many of us are blessed. Some have been despised because they don't know the power of mouth. They think that you are tall, you are big, doesn't matter anything. Your word can destroy the whole of the body. But let us see more again. Then he said, when Jesus had it, he marveled and said to them that followed him, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Well, God, if this general uses his own power as a general, knows that there's a power in a tongue, that he has people under him that he controls them, he say, go and he go, come and he come, do this and they do it. And that's why when he met Jesus Christ, he said, I'm not worthy for you to come to my house, but say that word, my servant must be whole. How many of us understand this word? We think that pastors are joke, prophets are joke. No. If you can be in a, anywhere you are and make a call and tell your parents, do this and they do that, that is a power of tongue to you. The same thing as where well. one can be somewhere and make an declaration, they destroy town, they destroy village, they destroy somebody's market, they destroy something that's important, and that is a power of tongue. It depends how you use it, and I advise us to use it positively so that you bless all of us. Many of us are right now running ahead task because of what we say to people, what we say to nations, what we say to our government, our, pro, our, our president. Many are running because of what they vomit with their mouth. But don't, don't understand there's a power in a spoken word. Even we that are Christians, this same mouth you used to pray to your God, so you still used to do stupid things. How can it work? Let us understand one thing. Mouth has a very big role to play in our sources and in our downfall. When one don't know how to speak, there's no business you handle. Even marriage will collapse because when you keep on insulting your husband or your wife, telling him do your worst, what will happen, that marriage will collapse. But when you embrace peace, talk to your husband, talk to your wife, in a good and polite matter, even if there's provocation, that hatred will do what we, we heal. Let us understand the power of mouth. That almost every right now, they are busy vomiting out rubbish, saying something that they don't even understand how deep they are causing trouble in the heart of men and women out there. How they have created enmity between town and town, village and villages because they open mouth and say what they don't understand. And I would like to let us understand one thing. Social media is part of it. You can say something in that your room and post it before se 10 seconds, it will go viral. Then what, my question is, that what is that that you said? Is it positive or negative? Is it to build the nation or to destroy the nation? And while doing all this, in, you are using your power wrongly. So now, 11, where we stop? And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. My dear family, let us understand one thing. When you don't know how to talk, almost whatever you are, you are handling will collapse, will destroy it. And especially our youth, let us learn how to use our mouth. When you face someone, apologize. Very simple. Don't claim that you are right to do it. My dear people, I will thank, I thank all of you that are part of us, that are hearing us. God Almighty will, will bless us. And all of us must sit well and build ourselves together and learn how to bring positive to the public, not to be the public. I thank you all for hearing us. Please don't forget to subscribe to Hubert TV. Join us. Follow us on Facebook. Hubert TV group in our page two. That's where we see a lot of sound messages concerning church, concerning people. Where we see a mature youth that are working with their brain that want people to get away and live well. Thank you and God bless you. We will see ourselves next time with another important thing that will make our youth to stand well. Thank you and remain blessed.